Yo guys, welcome back to my channel. So guys, before we start today's video, I just want you to go and subscribe to this channel. Recently, I've been helping you guys out a lot and I just want you to subscribe. It motivates me to make more of these videos. So guys, let's get into this video. So to start guys, as you've seen by the title, today's video is going to be about panic selling and more so panic selling around Black Friday. If you don't know what panic selling is, it's when, for example, you'll go ahead and buy a card for, let's say, Aubameyang for like 300k or 280k, of which he's going for around about now. And you hear from big YouTubers like Matt HD Gamer that a market crash is going to happen. So you go onto your FIFA account, you get Aubameyang and you try and sell him quickly. So you panic sell him and say he's listed for 280 you list him for like 260 and try and get your profit back. And that 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 is basically panic selling. And when loads of people do this in a short period of time, the prices of these players drop. So for example, that Aubameyang for 280 might eventually go down to like 240, low 200s. And there's, I'm saying this in particular because as an investor or as somebody that watches the market, you can then take advantage of those situations and buy these panic sold players. So guys, there's going to be opportunities in the next couple of weeks before Black Friday starts where you're going to be able to take advantage of these opportunities. So for example, if we look at the market right now, let's have a look at somebody different. For example, Varane, Raphael Varane. He's going for, at the moment, I believe about 215k on PlayStation, this is, by the way. Actually, there's a bid there for 235k, so he's a little higher than a fort. But guys, say for example, you have this Raphael Varane card. There's a bid there for 235, say that you buy him for 235. And Matt HD Gamer or another YouTuber uploads a video saying, Yo guys, the market crash is going to happen. And as you, you as a viewer, you're going to look at that and think, wow, I've got Varane, I brought him for 235, I want to get my money back, so I'm going to get as much money back as possible. So you then go and list that Varane for, let's say, 200k. Well, as an investor or somebody that's smart around the market, what we do is we stay liquid in the club. And what liquid means is we cash out early earlier than these panic sellers and we get as many coins in the club as possible so that when this guy that sells this Raphael Varane for like 200k or less we then go and pick him up with our coins that we've got disposable in, in our account then we wait till the market picks up again which is usually around a Thursday when the division rival rewards come out and the foot champions rewards come out and this is because people want to build teams for their weekend league. And so, for example, Varane will be a priority for that team. So because there's demand for Varane, everybody will want buying. There'll be less, less Varanes on the market and the price will go up. And that's how demand works, supply and demand. So yeah, guys, we'll basically be picking up cards when they're being panic sold and selling them when they rise back up in price which means we are going to keep a healthy bank balance of coins in our account let those panic sellers panic and sell their cards because by the time they buy back their teams the run will probably be the same price that they sold it for or even more so they're going to lose out all around we're going to win we're going to have a bank full of coins and that's how it's going to work so guys Black Friday, when around about will this panic, sell, panic selling happen? So for me, I estimate it's, it's the weeks building up to Black Friday. And in particular, I do have a date, which I think the pre-crash before the crash will happen. Um, and I'm going to reveal that in, video, in, in a video to come in the future. Um, so make sure you subscribe because I've got some valuable information that's going to help you and your account. So make sure you subscribe to see this information. So yeah, guys, I estimate it's going to be around a few weeks before the market crash. And as we know, the Black Friday promo is on the 23rd of November. Make that 
a list, a note in your diary. The 23rd of November is when the market crash is going to happen. The pre-crash estimate a couple of weeks before or even a week before, like I said, I'm going to explain in another video the exact date that I think the pre-crash will happen. And that is when we're going to be buying. That is when we're going to be buying because it's going to be the, the lowest, the cards are going to be the lowest at that point. But the panic selling from other people is going to happen from this point, from today, all the way up until the 23rd of November, which is Black Friday. So what you need to do is you need to keep an eye out. What I would probably say is make, make a concept squad, put these big gold players like Varane, um, Sergio Ramos, Kante, Aubameyang, you know, there's so many of these players, put them into a concept squad and just watch them and just watch. I'm going to be making videos um, closer to the, these panic selling um, incidents and I'm going to be picking up a few of these players and you're going to watch me, you're going to watch me make profits and, and flip some of these players because like I said, it's going to be happening from now all the way up until the 23rd of November, which is Black Friday. So yeah, guys, leave me a comment in the comment section, any questions you've got about this promo, anything around Black Friday, anything about panic selling, or if you have, if you have particular cards that you want me to tell you, you know, are they going to go up and down? Let me know, just let me know. So yeah, guys, if you enjoy this video, if you found something interesting, or if I've helped you in any sort of way, make sure you subscribe because it motivates me to make these videos. And don't forget to like. See you next time.